Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Autonaton. And today, well, as you can see behind the windmill, I'll move so you can get a better look. Um, I made a greenhouse for the cloches. I have two in there currently. It's not going to be huge because I tend to switch, I want to switch out um, what I want in there so they're not going to be running 24 7 but I made a greenhouse we'll go over and have a look in a second and I've been working on the pigs and the sheep because I have discovered that in this pack we have sandwiches and the sandwiches are awesome I believe it is a tiny progressions mod and you can have a bacon sandwich chicken sandwich rabbit beef or bacon and egg. For some reason you can't have a mutton sandwich, which is a bit strange, but there you go. And really all you want to do, what's that? Oh, there's bacon and eggs. So for the bacon and egg, for example, you need two bread slices, which you get from putting a loaf of bread in a crafting table. That gives you 10 slices, which is probably better than real life, but there you go. Then to get the bacon and eggs, you need cooked bacon and two eggs. Bacon is raw bacon which is a raw pork chop in the middle of the crafting table. Or you can get it in a dungeon chest too. Oh I didn't know that. But it's a raw pork chop in the crafting table and that will give you four raw bacon and then you can cook it with two fried eggs and two fr and fried eggs you get from putting an egg in a um, a furnace and then you put them all together and then you get a bacon and egg sandwich which isn't too bad and I mean who doesn't like bacon and um, so yeah so I did that and let's go down and have a little bit of a closer look so I moved the cloches from out here and I put them I leveled out out here because it was a bit holy I can't remember why. I think maybe a creeper blew up here. The glass door is part of a mod called Inspirations, which looks a quite an interesting mod. Um, the only thing is I didn't, I had to have a hole in the roof to pass in the wires, but that's fine. I mean, eventually I want to have a water wheel out here providing power for the cloches, but at the moment it's just the two cloches in here. I have Actually, I have to change that because that should be output instead of input. But I have two metal barrels from Immersive Engineering. It holds 12 buckets of water, I believe it is. And that will be sucked up into the cloche. At the moment, I'm growing potatoes in one and wheat in the other for the animals. And you put some bone meal here. The water gets sucked up into here. Um... This is how much fertilizer, uh, fertilizer amount and the growth modifier. And this is where it stores the items that it grows. So I've only put in one potato. You don't have, even have to keep constantly adding seeds to it. I've just put in the one potato and that just grows all the time. I mean, I know that you should be able to take things out automatically. I haven't really worked out how to do that yet. I will get there at some point. So I've just been taking things out automatically when I come in to check on things and putting them in the bins behind me. I was growing sugar cane as well, but then I don't really don't really need to grow any more sugar cane at the moment, so I've stopped that. And I'll probably put in one more cloche here. But at the moment, this is all I need. And also, we've got the lanterns. That's two iron sheets, two iron sheets, a piece of glowstone, and two glass panes. And that's it. But that is my greenhouse. And I used the chisel mod to give me this. I think this is... Um, Iron, iron, oh no, leaded glass, I think it is. 
and this one is clear glass. So I thought it went to it went together quite well because it looks like that there's nothing there at the top bit, but actually it's just the the texture. I've cleaned up my my uh, power wires and did as Robert suggested and put them in the wall, put an input and an output, and you just need the the engineer's hammer to change the input and output. And I didn't, I don't think I did anything else. I started growing some birch because I want to make, I didn't get round to doing the platformers um, fences as I wanted to. I can't remember why. I think probably because I got carried away with making my, my, my greenhouse. Mm -hmm. So I thought we can do that today because we'll do that together and also I also want to go to the mining dimension and see what's there because we haven't done that either. I've mentioned that it's there but we haven't actually been there. So I think that would be a good thing to do. So let me just offload everything that is in my inventory. Oh, I didn't... No. Oh, maybe the bins were full. I don't know. Right, let's put that in the food chest. Yeah, uh, wool, blaze rod. We'll take, we'll bring our sandwiches with us. Can put that there, put those there, and the, the bookshelf I keep meaning to put on the wall. Let's put you right here. Even though we have no books to put in it. I'm sure I had books in there. Never mind. And we don't need, we don't need the diamond wand. We need an obsidian paxel. We need the wob paxel. And we don't need our wire coil. We don't need the eye chisel. But we need our kappa pick. So let's put this away. And let's go to the mining dimension. Let's see, how do we get out this way? I should really put a pressure plate there. And also, I added to the sheep and pigs. I think I said that. Okay, the mining dimension. I've got my... Oh, the books... What is that? It's not a slime island because we we don't have tinkers in this pack. I don't think so. At the moment, I'm playing so many packs, I've forgotten what has what. No, there's no tinkers. So it's not a slime island. I want to go up and have a look. I think I'll do that later. But the mining dimension is supposed to be a very peaceful mining world. Let's climb up here and see what we can find. But it's very flat. But that's all it's supposed to be, a flat, peaceful mining world. And like I said, there was a structure. If I look on my journey map, that's it, right there. Okay, so it's behind us. So it's that way. Let's go and see if we can see what that is, because that might be interesting. Let's make sure that, you know, we are heading in the right direction. We are. But the mining, the, the mining dimension is very, yeah, very, oh, there it is. Maybe my render distance wasn't up high enough. But in the mining dimension, it's always day. And it's always, did you not pick up? It's not like my inventory's full. Oh, we, why is it, oh, you know what? It might be raining in the overworld. Sometimes when it's raining in the overworld, it gets overcast. Are we going in the right direction? There it is. It gets overcast in the mining dimension. So it could be raining in the overworld. Yeah, because it's still daytime. Oh, now it's all sunny. Look at that, wasn't that a bit strange? So you have cobwebs. I'm not sure why. Oh, I wonder if that's a, like a desert temple, maybe? 
I just want to come out here and explore. Never mind mining for stuff. So, I know in the overworld these are like dungeons. But this is supposed to be a peaceful world. Did I not bring any? No, I didn't bring any torches. That was smart, Shane. Very smart. That's a spawner. Why is there a spawner if it's supposed to be peaceful? But it's not activating. Because we would have had something attack us by now. So yeah, it is peaceful. Isn't that interesting? Okay, we're going to leave it for now. I didn't bring any torches. Which wasn't very smart of me. So we just need to pick a spot and start digging. I think we'll probably pick somewhere close to the portal. The, oh, that must be, that's not a desert temple. I know what that is. That's one of those um, bone structures that I've been, I've been telling you guys about, which I haven't seen in the overworld. We saw one briefly in the nether, but yeah, this is one of these bone structures. So they're basically like skeletons made up of bone blocks and you'll get about three four five stacks of bone blocks which is awesome so i might as well harvest it while we're here ouch shouldn't have done that yeah now let's go this way and half of it's gone or well, not even half about a quarter and we have two stacks of bone blocks to be honest, I'm not sure which mod adds these in. Is that more bone? Yep. And let's get this. Okay, we now have four stacks, almost five stacks of bones. So these are awesome. Once you've got these, you don't need skeletons. Because that's bone meal for life. So just mining that skeleton got us two, four, five, five, almost five and a half stacks of bone which is pretty cool actually and we might as well get this one while we're here too it's a pity we don't have flight i don't know if any of the if any of the mods in this pack have created flight oh i'm hungry because i've been vein mining so we'll have a bacon and egg sandwich yes bacon and egg awesome But I have to admit, I am loving the, um, yeah, I don't know if any of the, if there's any kind of creative flight in this. Maybe there's jetpacks or something. Uh, mechanism gives us that. Yeah, because there's no baubles. There's no angel rings. Although you have the mod that has the, there's an airships mod in here, I think. Yes, there's an airships mod, so that's what we need to to aim towards in order to get flight so that is that would be your creative flight component but there's no there's no baubles so there's no like angel rings or anything like that i really want to pillar up to that island i need to know what that is and i'm pretty sure you want to find out too because it's it's very unusual oh look at that shadow isn't that awesome sorry i keep going i keep talking about this these shaders but it really is a really cool shader pack but i really 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 want to find out what's under the eye what's on the island so i think what i'm going to do is to get a whole set of a lot of um dirt and then we could nerd pole yeah that was a bit of a bus i was supposed to jump over yeah, and then we could nerd pole up. But I don't want to just go and... Let me start digging under here. How far down does it go? You know, I didn't even get any wood. I should have bought some wood to make ladders. Oh, I so was not thinking. Right, let's see if we can get a little bit lower. And then I can vein mine some... Vein mine out. Maybe main mine out some stone, I don't know. But like I said, I didn't even bring any torches, which is what I was supposed to have done. 
Right, let's go this way. And see if we can get like a stack of cobblestone. One, two, three, four stacks of cobble. That should be more than enough to nerd pole. Nerd pole up to this island and see what's up there. All right, where are we? About here? Yeah. Okay, so hopefully I won't plummet to my death, which is a distinct possibility knowing me, but we should be okay. And I will see you at the top. Well, I've made it, no mishaps. Really? All this way for clathep and a few cobwebs and a sunflower. At least the sunflower's useful. The flowers are useful, but really? I was hoping for something decent. Can you not even read it? It's just a normal book. Is there something under here? It's glowstone. Yeah. <sighs> that was... Uh... That was disappointing. I'm guessing if it was in the overworld, it would have been guarded by something. So let me make my way back down. So I've made my way to the bottom and all of a sudden it's gotten very dark and awful. And um, you can see raindrops in my vision, like rain's falling on my glasses. This is awesome. Uh, so it must be raining in the overworld. So before, I don't know why it was overcast, but oh, this is this shader pack. I, I, yeah, sorry, I keep going on, but I really love it. But there's um, it's like there's there's raindrops falling, distorting our vision. So you're still getting the same effect as if you were over in the overworld. But obviously, it's not raining because if you look at the water, there's nothing hitting it, and if you look up, there's no rain. But that is, that is quite cool. Yeah, it's raining. Is it night time? No, it's still daytime. So we're back. I think we might have enough birch. Though I think the birch might be too white. I was going to use it to make plank, not planks to make um, fence for the balcony because you've got the plain old spruce fence but I was thinking about having birch and birch and spruce but maybe oh, I don't know it seemed like a good idea at the time but now I'm looking at it Birch might be a little too pale. Alright, we don't have a stack of... Let's put one in. Let's put one back. But let's see how many planks we can get out of this. Yeah, where's... Oh, there it is. Okay, two, just under two and a half stacks. Let's put this stuff away. And let's go round. Oh, we need um, spruce. Is that spruce? Yes. One, two, three. That should work. I wonder if you can grow saplings in the cloche. I didn't think. Maybe you might be able to. I don't know. Okay, let's take those out. That's what we were... That's what we were experimenting with last time. Does that not give you... Oh, it doesn't matter anyway. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's not giving you a colour. So if I do that, no. 
copper was the one that gave us the green on it. Oh no, I'm being silly. I need to put it up here. I need to put it up here. Okay. Alright, so that will be on top. That will be the bottom. That's like a flooring platform. Is that... Is that the fence? No, that's the fence. If I switch it round... Um, birch on top. And spruce on the bottom. Actually, I think that might be better. Um, yeah, can you only do it one at a time? Oh no, you put your stuff there. Let's do four. And let's go up and have and see what it looks like. Because when I'm... When I'm playing mod packs, you don't always see this from a creator it'd be like I'm going to build my house and we'll come back and it's like oh does it oh that's how you place it okay did I just knock that off the edge I think I did I'm not going to go have a look okay is there enough no I'm kind of liking that fence. I know. It's very directional. You have to be careful where you point it. So I've pointed it to the middle of the block and it's put it where I want it to put it. Hmm. It doesn't seem tall enough. That doesn't look like how I thought it would look like in my head. Oh, there's a double railing. Well, let's try that. And that's the floor. And then it goes back to the stairs. Okay, let's try the double railing. And let's see how that looks. And again, put it there? No? Is that because that's in the way? Do you not want to? Where can you go? Is that a ladder? No, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Handrail. Oh! That's got to be for the stairs. So can I use it on cobble stairs? No. I must only be able to make their stairs. Wooden ramp. I'm glad we're doing this together. Alright, let's take out this bottom step. And let's put on the ramp. And then the handrail. Would that go there? No. Across the middle? No. On the side? Yeah. Not quite sure where that would go. Hmm. Can I put stone in there? I should have looked to see if I could put cobble. Because if I could get... No, I put away the cobble, didn't I? Let's get some cobble. Because actually, I think spruce and cobble, in keeping with the, the look... Oh, that was an enderman. Right. Uh, I need the cobble. There you go. 
to the wooden ramp. Stone ramp. Let's take out these stairs. And let's see. Oh, I like these. Actually, I prefer those. That's kind of in keeping with that, with the what's already in the house. Although they really would look really cool as as a roof, I could use. Let's see if we can see outside. I could use the birch and the spruce as a roof for the doghouse, and then. I didn't think about that. That would look pretty cool. Do they have any red stained planks? Um, do they have stained planks in this pack? Uh, white stained planks. Orange, magenta, cyan, purple, blue, green, red. Okay, we can try... That comes out a pinky colour, though. We could try that. Any plank of wood. Okay. Uh, and we have in our inventory, I think. Yes, we do. Right, so red dye. Surrounded by planks. And we have red stained wood. And then let's go around and see if that would make a... Let me see, we want the red, red stained planks. Oh, it does. Although it's not a very deep red. It's not a very deep red. It's more of a, of a pinky colour. Let's put this here so we can have a look. I'm glad I'm doing this with you guys because sometimes you just need to talk through things with people just to, you know, just to get an idea of what you want to do. Hmm. I might do like black stained planks or something, although it might not, they might not come out very black. Yeah, the black stained planks look grey. Yeah, they do look very grey rather than black. But I might do those for the roof instead. But I think I will do the stone and the spruce for the stairs. And I might do stone and spruce for the fence as well. But like I said, I don't know how you put in the handrails. You wouldn't put it across, which doesn't make any sense. It would make sense to put it alongside. Maybe I need another block. Maybe there has to be a block next to it. Although that makes no sense. No, because that isn't going on it anyway. No. Do I have to, like, look? No, maybe I need to look that way? No? No. Hmm. That's a bit strange. But no, I think I will use the stone for the house and the pink for the, for the, for the dog shed. And... Right, so... Let's quickly put those in. Ah, uh, stone. Do I have stone? No, I don't have stone. Yeah, right. Alright, put one of those there so you get two. And how many do we need? One, 
two, three, four, five, six, maybe six or seven. You get two of each, so we'll probably need eight. Four, six, eight. And then we'll put these in, and then, I th oh, did I make an extra one? Never mind. But we'll put these in, and then that will be the end of the episode. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, take that out. Put it in. Take that out. Oh, wrong place. You've got to be careful where you place it. So if I put it there, that's it. And against the wall I'm guessing and finally the last one actually those look really nice and they do look stair like and like I said I think I will make the red stained ones to put on top of the doghouse because the existing roof could stay and you just put them on top and it would just look pretty awesome. So this 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 week's episode has been been quite chill, actually. Oh, is it daytime? Oh, I missed my chance to go and sleep and get rid of the rain. Never mind. But this week's episode has been pretty chill. We went to visit the mining dimension and had a very quick kind of look there. We found that strange floating island, which has nothing on it apart from a book that we can't read and actually we should put the book in our bookcase so we have a novel for our bookcase and then we came back and we played around with the platformer a little bit and at least changed the stairs in our house and actually i i like how how it looks because it goes in keeping with what we have and like I said, it makes a really nice roof. So I am going to go ahead and put it on the doghouse. And then that would be, that would be pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.